Howdy folks, excuse the low quality and the pacing. People don't like the pace of the way I speak, so, well, fuck you is what I have to say to that. And uh, the general overall quality is because I'm doing a screen record. Um, what prompted me to do this is This Week in Stupid from Sargon of Akkad, a brilliant, brilliant series. Every time I watch it, I think, how can the West get more fascist than this? And then I see the next episode a week later and I think, how can the West get any more fascist than this? So, <clears throat> there's that. Uh, a few weeks ago, he launched his petition, petition to suspend social justice courses and such in universities so that, you know, we can figure out what it is that uh, is actually being instilled in people and what the result would be. Excuse me, I like smoking. And uh, to kind of gauge where people are at, the, the ones who take the, or sign the petition, he asks that people submit their position on the political compass. He also asks to people people to state their religious affiliation in two separate surveys. Which is a shame. It would be nice to get a cross section. But I suppose people just assume that <clears throat> religion denotes politics. But the reason why he put that up and I'm just giving you a backstory here. The reason why he put that up is because people are, and I don't know which people, I haven't seen anyone say it because I don't give a shit, are saying that um, this is just a bunch of neo-Nazis and mis misogynists and all that, blah, blah, blah. I'm mostly sure that, uh, you know, there are a good degree of right-wingers, as they would describe themselves. But for the most part, I trust that this is a libertarian lot. I mean, his his subject matter is basically something that libertarians 100% could agree with, and classical liberals, as he calls himself, can agree with. Now, in order to... to fill out the survey, I actually had to take the political compass test, and where I was put, and this is why I think that the political compass is redundant, was 50, pretty much 50% left, and then only very slightly libertarian. <clears throat> now the uh, political compass is, you know, as you can imagine, it puts you on a continuum between left and right, authoritarian and libertarian. Like you could be totally right wing and libertarian or totally left wing and authoritarian and vice versa. Now, this is oversimplified, mostly because I don't know what left or right is anymore. I understand authoritarian, libertarian, but like, for instance, right, I am a national socialist. Um, the collo colloquialism and insult for a national socialist is a Nazi. Okay, I don't want to put people in camps. I don't want to sterilize anyone. I don't want to take away anyone's rights because of the way that they were born. That's not my gig. That's not my bag. I don't see how that would help my nation, which is what National Socialism is about. People usually associate National Socialists with right. A lot of National Socialists would say that they're on the right. I would say that I'm on the left. Because, well, socialism. <laughs> uh, people associate that with the right because... Uh, uh, nationalism. And people would associate it with authoritarianism. Now this is where the compass gets broken because, well, 
you know, it is kind of authoritarian. We're going to tell you how we're going to fix the country, and we're going to do it. And if you try to resist, then, well, you know, you're a political dissident. Off to jail you go. <clears throat> so, I would like to go through, and if I can use the backspace, um, or the back button on my browser, I can go through all the questions that make up this survey or the test rather and explain to you why each one is just uh, fucking stupid and doesn't really give an honest um, reading of uh, somebody's political standing now you might say that I'm being um, picky I'm picking holes I'm um, you know, like, I don't know how else to explain it except for being picky and just trying to cause a fuss over something small, but I'm really not. I'm just kind of probing how there are many faults in these questions, and lucky for you, all of my um, options are actually still highlighted here. Cool. I might even explain why, as a National Socialist, I picked what I picked. These days, openness about sex has gone too far. I said I strongly agree. These are This section is the uh, social section, and I think also, yeah, social religious section. <laughs> Actually, it's all about sex here. And yeah, I think, yeah, okay, that's a pretty straightforward question, it's natural. Um, no one can feel naturally homosexual. Well, what does naturally mean? Um, like, and to, like, what type of homosexuals are you talking about? Because I don't think we fully understand homosexuality. I mean, it's so, uh, sociologists, uh, psychologists, and varying other fields understand a lot more about homosexuality than we do, and they're, they're not all the same. There are a very... Uh, some degree of homosexuals out there. Most of them, I would say, have hormonal issues. So I said that I disagree, because that's not natural. Um, but there are just f freak of the litters. Not that that's a bad thing. <laughs> Even a Nazi would say no, that's not a, necessarily a bad thing, but there are the freaks in society, and that's cool. Whatever, you know, have a sexual relationship with the same sex if you wish. Um, I'm not going to try to probe in your life and fuck you around unless I know exactly what I'm doing and exactly what's wrong with you. So like how can I condense that into strongly disagree, disagree, agree or strongly agree? It's ridiculous. <clears throat> All right, what goes on in a private bedroom between consenting adults is no business of the state. I completely 100% agree. Um, I don't see how that, how like going into someone's private life like that is going to help anyone whatsoever. Um, not even the state, not even an authoritarian state could benefit from interfering with someone's private life in their bedroom. But that would put me further left, wouldn't it? <laughs> that would put me further libertarian when that's not the case. I just don't give a fuck. Pornography depicting consenting adults should be legal for the adult population. I agree, because um, it's uh, such a pain in the ass to actually illegalize something that 
thanks to the internet is absolutely everywhere. I mean, you can shut down publishing houses who are running off magazines of all sorts of lewd depictions. Cunt and phone. But uh, you can't do that with the internet now without seriously curtailing people's freedom of speech. <clears throat> because um, even as a person who thinks that uh, the state should be um, authoritarian for a certain allotted period of time, a one-party system, I don't think that it should be given that insane degree of control over people's personal lives, as I have detailed earlier. Okay, I just need to send off um, a message real quick on me phone. I wish I had a pause button for this. <clears throat> but uh, this shit can't wait. So, um, what, what the fuck, political compass? Pornography ruins people's fucking minds and libidos. That's, that's science, okay? That's true. Uh, that's an empirically provable fact. Now, a same-sex couple in a stable, loving relationship should not be excluded from the possibility of child adoption. Um, okay, I misread that question and then said that I strongly disagree. Fuck. 4 a.m., you know? It's kind of hard to function at that this time of night. I should have said that I strongly agree. Fuck that shit. No, man. We understood this very, very fucking instinctively for so long. And now we know scientifically with sociology and psychology. We understand it now. But um, that's a pretty straightforward question. That's one of very few straightforward questions in this test. Sex outside of marriage is usually immoral. I only slightly disagreed because I wouldn't have sex outside of marriage. <laughs> no, I certainly would. Um, I just think that I shouldn't. Um, all right. Uh, now we're on to the, um, what kind of questions are these? Social questions, I think. It is important that my child's school instills religious values. And I agree, because, well, society needs religious values. I don't see any problem with that question. Can't pick any holes in it. Because either you think that society needs religion or you don't. But then again, I could take the anarchist question. I, 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 you know, I, I agree with the anarchist question of who's, who's the one in authority? Are they an organic authority that everybody agrees with? Is this the religion that everyone agrees with, or is it some fucked up religion? These are questions that could be applied to all of the questions in the political compass. Who is the state? Who is the authority of the land that is saying what should be done and what shouldn't be done? So that kind of invalidates a lot of questions. Some people are naturally unlucky. I agree. I don't see any problem with that question. I don't even know why it's there. I guess it's a trick question that socialists ask that, oh, you know, do you think that some people are just destined to be poor and fuck them? If so. 
Which is, yeah, that's a really tricky question, actually, because if I agree, then I would be put on further to the right of the spectrum. See? You don't even see problems until you actually really think about them. All right, next. Charity is better than social security as a means of helping the genuinely disadvantaged. I disagree. Um, only disagree and not strongly disagree because, again, we have to ask, what kind of a society are we talking about here? Um, how well crafted is the social security system we're talking about? Because um, the argument that people would make for charities is that there's a more personable um, aspect to it. Not only are the people in this uh, hypothetical libertarian society uh, freely giving their resources to the charity to help others, but they would be more small and decentralized and thus able to <clears throat> more humanely help the people with those resources. You cannot be moral without being religious. I find this one really hard to grasp because if I said that I agree, being a pagan, for instance, I think that you need to learn about the ways of the gods and the mystical people who have lived on the earth, as I genuinely believe they have. Then where's the guiding stone? Where are your role models? Um, like, if you look at ordinary men today, like Nietzsche and... Sartre and um, Ayn Rand, you know, whatever, wherever. Name your mortal that you look up to and has said wonderful, very deep, insightful things. They lived really fucked up lives and they abused themselves, they abused people around them. They're imperfect. You need an idolized, idealized image that of course you're not going to be able to fully emulate. However, um, you will always strive to emulate that. But of course, um, you have to keep in mind that you will never be that. And this is some pretty deep shit that really should be taught to children, which, you know, may, which is why I think that one should uh, teach religion in school um, and theology more specifically to think about the religion that is being taught so I, oh, I just had to say that I disagree because I would be putting the compass off I had to lie to stay in accordance with the test because if I knew that I said I strongly agree then I would be put further to the right of the spectrum and maybe even more further authoritarian. So God, God knows if I was uh, put in the right and authoritarian upper right corner, then um, my wife would probably divorce me. Um, okay, astrology accurately explains many things. I said I agree. I don't know, well, does that make, does that put me on the left? I'm not sure. I don't, I don't know what that has to do with politics, really. Um, does that mean that if I answer I'm stupid because the common knowledge these days, if you believe in that voodoo stuff, then you must be stupid. And, and then they just put me on the right side of the spectrum. Is that what's going on here? Anyhow, I said I strongly agree because, um, well, it's fucking true. <clears throat> now you can troll me all you want for having an opinion on the matter.
and I'd tell you to fuck off and study astrology or talk to an astrologer and get them to analyze events and times and places and your birth and, and, and demonstrate to you that it's a real science. Anyway, moving on. Uh, I think this is another, yeah, these are social questions mainly. Making peace with the establishment is an important aspect of maturity. Yeah, it is. Because um, at the end of the day, no matter how authoritarian or disagreeable the world is currently, you have to make peace with it. That doesn't mean that you don't change it, you know, or um, form a political party or movement with different ideas on how to run the establishment or to eventually gain a consensus in your society to bring it down. But you should make peace with it and just get along with your life and don't let that shit disturb you. That's just... I think that's a problem with the question. I don't know. Maybe somebody else might see it differently. Because uh, you could read almost anything into that fucking question. So uh, I just said that I agree. Not strongly agree. <clears throat> Multinational companies are unethically exploiting the plant genetic resources of developing countries. How is that a political question? That's just kind of true. It's just like you can't argue it. That's what's happening. It's it's called... Wait, what is it called? Um, when you study ecospheres and shit. Ecology. Yeah, it's ecology, okay? It's, it's called science, you know? You can't disagree with science, right? That's what's happening. And companies, multinationals, are directly involved in it. I don't get how you could possibly gain some kind of like is this another trick question where if you disagree then they think oh this is a stupid right winger closed minded idiot let's just put them over to the right side of the spectrum even further actually when I finish this I think I might just answer all these questions wrong according to what the what I think the trick questions are supposed to be and we'll see where I get put on the political spectrum but let's move on mothers may have careers but their first duty is to be homemakers yeah again sociology psychology all these um, studies of man we have actually found that children and families suffer when women mothers rather homemaking women kind of lose the plot and become defeminized and masculinized and go into the corporation and become a drone for that. That's the job of the man, to completely lay down his life in that way. So that's why I answered that. It's a good question. It's one of the few that are actually good. <coughs> Excuse me. A business person and the manufacturer, or the business person and the manufacturer are the more important are more important than the writer and the artist I strongly disagree because uh, I'm Irish and that's what our country is built on writers and artists it is a waste of time to try to rehabilitate mm, some criminals I don't know who could possibly disagree with that but that's a very reasonable question for this test I won't pick any holes in it because there aren't any 
in criminal justice, punishment should be more important than rehabilitation. I strongly disagree because uh, I am Irish, once again, I must say. Um, I believe that we should go back to the Breton law system, and um, that has absolutely no aspect of punishment in it whatsoever. You know, if uh, someone, somebody really needs to be detained and they aren't the unrehabilitatable criminals, then uh, that should be for the purpose of making them better people. What a concept. <clears throat> Abstract art that doesn't represent anything shouldn't be considered art at all. Well, I think there in the question itself is the answer, right? Unless, you know, you're a fucking acid head who went to art college. Uh, in a civilized society, one must always have people above to be obeyed and people below to be commanded. Now, you might say, and this is a problem with the uh, political compass. I think, actually, this is the crux of the problem with the political compass. <clears throat> because, um... Although I'm National Socialist and technically authoritarian, and then you could say in a National Socialist society that there will be... It would follow that there would be people at the top to be obeyed and people at the bottom to be commanded. But I find it interesting that it says, in a civilized society... I don't think that we're a civilized society. That's why we need National Socialism. We're not civilized. Yeah, we're not um, hacking each other up in the streets. We're more civilized than most people. Uh, well, most other civilized societies. More civilized than most societies. Um, but uh, do I think that ultimately the the structure of a society that is um, healthy should have authoritarianism? No. So that would put me more on the libertarian side. And who knows how this is configured? Maybe it puts me slightly left-wing. That's what I would actually like to know. What are the... What, how does the point system work here? God, you have to excuse all the nasty noises I'm making. I'm just a human being, smoking and drinking coffee. Deal with it. <clears throat> I also smoke too much, so I'm coughing too much. The death penalty should be an option for the most serious crimes. I disagree, but not strongly disagree because there are psychopaths out there, so that's a that's an okay question, I imagine. Although the electronic age makes official surveillance is easier, only wrongdoers need to be worried. And of course I strongly disagree. Um, again, even though National Socialism, yeah. But let I would be a fool to deny that any hierarchical structure that has power over a certain group of people isn't going to is going to isn't going to use that power to, you know, do absurd things like stop people from talking about things that are true, for instance. Let's move on. That's a good question. Uh, a significant advantage of a one-party state is that it avoids... All the arguments that delay progress in a democratic political system. I strongly, just, I strongly agree. <clears throat> 
And one, one might think that um, these two questions are in conflict when I have answered them so vastly differently, and that depicts, for me, the problem, once again, with the political compass test. Because, yeah, a one-party system is, you know, there's a significant advantage to it in that you don't need to sit around fucking arguing all day about what to do. Doesn't mean that those people should then surveil every fucking action of the citizenry and that those citizens shouldn't worry that that party isn't going to look you know what I'm talking about hopefully and if not then you're slow on the uptake and what are you watching this for anyway our civil liberties are being excessively curbed in the name of counterterrorism uh, yeah I there's no problem with that question but it would make me wonder I would assume it's um I would assume it's um, putting people when say when they say strongly agree that it's putting people more in the libertarian part of the compass, but is it putting people in the left? That's what I'd like to know. <coughs> and I think this is the um, last set of questions. No, it's the second last. No broadcasting institution, however independent its content should receive public funding I disagree just because we, we don't need to discuss that that's a libertarian versus statist question what's good for the most successful corporation is always ultimately good for us all um, I cite Monsanto um, and the corporation out of China that is uh, due to buy Monsanto. Um, Monsanto is currently merging with Bayer. You know, those two corporations from Nazi Germany who love just love making chemicals and monopolizing our food sources and pharmaceutical industry. And now the Chinese are going to run it. And I don't think that they're going to be any nicer to us than the Germans and Americans. Actually, no, hang on, Monsanto and Bayer come before the Nazis. Yes, that's good to remember. Fucking Germans. Anyway, um, yeah, of course, I strongly disagree with that. That's insane. Jesus Christ, why would that just, why would that be axiomatically true? I, I have to wonder about the, the mental stability of somebody who thinks that that will always ultimately be good for us all. It's like, excuse me, like what mechanism? Eh. First generation immigrants can never be fully integrated within the new country. And as a national socialist, I have to completely agree. Uh, I don't find any problem with that. I just have to wonder, does it put me on the right? Or does it put me on the authoritarian side? I, I can't quite make that out. When you're troubled, it's better not to think about it, but keep busy with more cheerful things. That's a kind of a philosophy question, isn't it? Rather than anything else. <clears throat> and I don't know what what it's supposed to be. I suppose it's, you know, Soviet Union, you know, shut the fuck up and just get on with it. The party will take care of everything. Maybe it puts one on the authoritarian side. I don't know. Those who are able to work and refuse the opportunity should not expect society's support. And I only partially agree with that statement. 
um, I would look to you know even though it's not like Ayn Rand invented this concept in reality itself but she put it very well when she said that uh, the you know the more intelligent and capable in society it will at some point boycott it because the merger of state and corporate power will get so ubiquitous that all the excitement and adventure in life will just be sucked out of it see early 21st century and as a protest they will just stop working just stop giving their input stop making inventions to stop making businesses and probably not even show up for work so um i only slightly agreed that they should have their have society support pulled from them because you know in fairness now people who are working their asses off objectively shouldn't have to pay the bill for everyone else um, but that's just me talking about my own politics here I'll just move on there are no savage and civilized peoples there are only different cultures and I strongly agree and you would think that uh, I'm a national socialist so I must be a racist but that's untrue I am <clears throat> Here I am talking about my own politics, but you know, there's no problem with this question. It's just a left-right question, I think. Um, because uh, people on the left would say that, yes, that there are just different cultures, while people on the right, particularly the religious right, would say we're God's people and we're superior we are civilized and they're savages because they're not Protestant basically although the uh, that racist concept goes back further than Protestantism it was perfected by Protestantism and the result is the United States <clears throat> fucking disgusting society driven completely by the work ethic and an ignorance of other cultures and um, an arrogant enforcing of its own values on all other cultures even the British Empire as fucking brutal as they were to a much greater extent respected other cultures than the United States has uh, over the last 200 years. <clears throat> Fucking kurva. Um, but you know, you will take me for a racist uh, being a national socialist, but I'm not. I'm actually an anti-Atlanticist. You know, I don't believe that there's this objective way of being and that everyone should conform to that and everyone should be measured by that no no we uh, be ourselves and we be the best ourselves that's possible and then when we confront other people either we like them and we can get along with them or we hate them and they hate us and we have to fight that's that's life and it's pretty like globalist and authoritarian to insist that everyone um, fits into your uh, categorization just deal with things as they come even on a personal level that's the way life goes isn't it the most important thing for children is to learn to accept discipline strongly agree authority in your personal life is a great thing 
people with serious inheritable disabilities should not be allowed to reproduce. I agree. Now I know I said from the outset that um, I don't believe in sterilization of people, but I think that society should seriously discourage these people from having children. Just, you know, socially, just like, whoa, my phone is going mental. You know, just kind of like, a, a, a state of consciousness where it's just agreed. You know how, like, how you don't talk about sex at the dinner table, or at least you didn't back in the day. Um, <clears throat> you, you don't have sex when you're, when you know that your children are going to be all fucked up. The pro, the prime function, sorry, it's in red, so it's really hard. The prime function of schooling should be to equip the future generation to find jobs. That is absolutely fucking atrocious. They, that's a horrible idea. Do I need to explain why? But then I have to wonder, is that what defines a right winger? As opposed to a left winger? I mean, in the Soviet Union, who, you know, come on, if they're not left wing, then who is left wing, really? Like, every society has pretty much agreed that schooling is for, you know, training into jobs or the military. You know, it being mainly about skills and um, discipline, so what the fuck? I personally disagree, then that's a hole that I can pick in this test. I have to ask, um, um, what kind of schooling are we talking about? Can we have different kind, kinds of schools? Is that possible? I mean, I kind of like the um, National Socialist Germany model of schools that were, you know, they just didn't focus on, we're training you for what the country needs right now, but rather we're training you into what you're adept at doing. <clears throat> you know, if you showed yourself to be more physically orientated, then that would be focused on uh, or you know your your um what you are adept at you know you will be encouraged to do and um jobs will be created for you because the state controls the largest corporations and yeah so i uh, that's a good idea and that kind of wavers in between the uh, the yes and the no, doesn't it? Possessing marijuana for personal use, yeah, it's a libertarian question. Uh, it's natural for children to keep some secrets from their parents. That's kind of creepy. Is that a authoritarian versus libertarian question? Like, um, in 1984, where the children ratted out the parents for being insubordinate? I don't know. Good parents sometimes have to spank their children, which I agree. I just don't understand where the question is supposed to, like, does that make me more right-wing because I agree? Does it make me more authoritarian because I agree? And why is that necessarily politically charged? You know? Like, I don't get it. That's a philosophy question, it's not a political question. There's a difference. <clears throat> all people have their rights, but it is better for us all for all of us that different sorts of people should keep to their own kind. 
I don't know what that means. Does that mean racial? Does that mean class? Either way, I strongly agree. And I'm not quite sure where that places me. Like, what kind of people? Couldn't they do us the favor of explaining what kind of people they're talking about here? Schools should not make classroom attendance compulsory. I agree. Because sometimes children know instinctively that they shouldn't be somewhere. Like, I suppose that makes one more authoritarian to say that they agree. I don't know. I mean, rather that they don't agree. Um, taxpayers should not be expected to prop up any libraries or museums that cannot survive on a commercial basis. Well, that's retarded. That would mean that we'd have no fucking libraries and museums. Because sometimes you get a few generations where nobody gives a fuck but then we'd have lost all of this beautiful culture and um, history and stuff so yeah this is me just rabbiting on about my own political views fuck me an eye for an eye a tooth for a tooth I agree because I'm Irish bread and law you know all authority should be questioned I agree completely. Questions, yeah, but, um, you know, if it's legitimate authority, then if you really seriously question it, then you're going to get a satisfactory answer as far as I'm concerned. Abortion, when the woman's life is not threatened, should always be illegal. Of course I disagree. And that's a really touchy issue. I don't see how it's fair to place me left or right on that one. Uh, no broadcasting institution, no matter how independent. Hang on a minute. I saw these questions before. Did I press forward or backwards? I can't... The free market... The f what? I am so lost right now. What the fuck? Okay, the freer the market, the freer the people. I agree. Not totally, because there's an environmental issue that we're about to get to, because we're going in descend descending order here, or ascending order here. Um, we have to think about the environment. A genuine free market requires restrictions on the ability of predator multinationals to create monopolies <laughs> Duh, I strongly agree I'm a national socialist right um, but there we have another hole in the political compass test because if you really insist on putting national socialists on the right side of the spectrum and on the authoritarian side of the spectrum <coughs> a communist would also say that multinationals need to be curbed so that they don't make monopolies worldwide. Any anti-globalist as well would say the same thing. Governments should penalize businesses that mislead the public. Yeah, that's fair, fair enough. But I guess it would push you further towards the authoritarian side, but would it push, push you more left? I'm not sure. It would be nice to know these things. Those with the ability to pay should have the right to higher standards of medical care. I disagree. Everyone should have the same stand. Well, not completely the same standard of medical care, but everyone should have satisfactory metal medical care. Um, because, well, yeah, um, as I answered in prior questions that we addressed, somebody can be unlucky. So it's kind of hard to place myself here. It really is. Um, because if I say that... If I say that I disagree, that means that everyone should, like, be having the same thing. If I say that I agree... And that means that poor people should 
be left to suffer. You know, the rich are too highly taxed. I don't see a problem with that question. Uh, the only social responsibility of a company should be to deliver the, a profit to its shareholders. Again, we have had that question being asked later in this um, test that we've already addressed here, just in a different form. Why? I have no idea. Protectionism is sometimes necessary in trade. And I strongly agree, because, you know, you got to protect the environment and the country from being pilfered and all those cool things. But, you know, the problem with that is that um, multinationals usually get around those tariffs and stuff. So, yeah, um, that's a tricky one, but not one I can necessarily complain about. It is regrettable that many personal fortunes are made by people who simply manipulate money and contribute nothing to their society. Yeah, it is regrettable. Land shouldn't be a commodity to be bought and sold. I strongly disagree because fuck you. Uh, it's a sad reflection on our society that sometimes as basic something as basic as drinking water is now bottled branded consumer product you okay I don't know how well I suppose that oh, that's a left right thing from each according to his ability to each according to his need is a fundamentally good idea I guess that's a left-right thing, right? Or is it an authoritarian, libertarian thing? I can't work it out because left is supposed to be let's take care of the people, right? And the right is let the people take care of themselves while... <clears throat> so, you know, the left would be yes, this Marxist slogan is correct and the right would be no, this Marxist slogan is poison! And then it could apply to libertarian, authoritarian, because, well, in order to enact this Marxist ideology, then you need to be authoritarian, because there will be people who disagree with this arrangement. And you get the picture. Because corporations cannot be trusted to voluntarily protect the environment, they require regulation. And there we have it, um, a, a question that I said would come up later, which is, um, yeah, um, corporations have a higher responsibility and tariffs need to be used and such. I don't see why they need to repeat questions, but let's move on. Controlling inflation is more important than controlling unemployment. I completely agree because um, probably not for the same reasons that um, the political compass people have thought of, because controlling inflation is um, a left-wing, possibly authoritarian thing, because you need to manipulate the economy. But for me, it's um, Jewish global bankers who um, are responsible for inflation. So if you just get rid of them, or no, sorry, I mean, get rid of their banks, <laughs> then you won't have inflation. Um, people are ultimately divided more by class than by nationality. And I agree, actually. Yeah. Even though I'm a nationalist. See, that's the funny thing, you know. Um, not everyone, even in the same political camp, agrees with this thing. Because we're dynamic human beings and we look at things and, and analyze them and think for ourselves, hopefully. Hopefully. Alright, we're on the last page here and I think that this last page is probably 
the most problematic. Isn't it sickening how the word problematic has become a bad term, even if you don't use it in the same way that social justice warriors use it? There is now a worrying fusion of information and entertainment. No problem with that. I just wonder where, where does this put me? If that was the only question ever on this test, would it put me in the far um, upper right, upper left, lower left, lower right? Which, you know, well, what is this question? I don't fucking understand it. What is it supposed to mean? Where does it put me? Like, I know that I'm not supposed to understand how, exactly how every question in this um, test influences my position but I just don't actually see again this is a philosophical question how does this compute I don't get it <clears throat> military action that defies international law is sometimes justified I think that's a even though that's like a, a globalist or anti-globalist question, I don't see where it puts one on the spectrum. Like, in the minds of the people who made this test, is international law a fundamentally good thing? Like, is it a fundamentally left thing? Is it a fundamentally right thing? Is it a fundamentally authoritarian thing? Is it a fundamentally libertarian thing? Well, it couldn't possibly be libertarian, but y you get what I'm getting at here. <clears throat> the enemy of my enemy is my friend. Now that's, that's a question that really kind of gauges somebody's stupidity more than somebody's political position. And I don't fucking understand it at all. I don't know why it's there. Our race has many superior qualities compared with other races. Okay, and I said that I agree. Not strongly agree, because I have reservations about what that might actually mean in the minds of the people asking the question. But how does it affect being left or right? How does it affect being authoritarian or libertarian? Like philosophically and scientifically, how does it have any bearing whatsoever in politics? I don't get it. <clears throat> I mean, this quiz is shit and it's obviously made by somebody who is a extreme, extremist socialist. No one chooses his or her country of birth, so it's foolish to be proud of it. Yeah, I strongly disagree because pride, you know, is a tricky thing. So, this is a, this is a, a philosophical issue, okay? And again, we come to the crux of the issue with the political compass test. Because I can't have a debate about, you know, what it means to be proud of something with the maker of this test. I wasn't proud to be Irish up until a few weeks ago. Well, I, you know, I was, but I didn't deserve to be proud of it because um, I wasn't it, really. I was, yeah, I was born here. I grew up here. And um, I had a vague sense of who I was. But then I decided, well, if I want to be proud of something, then I better be the best at it. I have to live it. So I started to learn about um, my history, with mythology, our customs, our language. And now I'm proud of it. But 
say an African born to two African parents was born in Ireland then yeah they can't be proud of being Irish because they literally were born here by accident <sighs> I'd always support my country whether it is right or wrong Now, according to this question, because I strongly disagree, this would be make me less nationalist and possibly more left-wing. But it doesn't allow for the idea that, well, maybe it's possible to be aware that a nation is much broader than the people in it who are currently alive. You know? I hope that makes sense, because I don't know how else to explain it. <clears throat> like, um, one generation today might be a bunch of fucking scumbags, and then the next generation who come into power might embody the country in some kind of a renaissance and it might be beautiful and wonderful and I would want to support it so uh, you know like and then I would support my nation whether right or wrong in some objective right or wrong kind of God view kind of sense if economic globalization is inevitable it should primarily serve humanity rather than the interests of transnational corporations. Who else in the world would say no to that? I don't I'm going to um, now go through the uh, trick questions as far as I'm concerned. Now keeping in mind that uh, my state in the political compass currently is um, there and I'm going to go through the trick questions. Um, like I don't know what that is um, but I won't touch that. Um. <clears throat> now the enemy of my enemy is my friend is that yeah 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 let's strongly agree with that one you're out all of the controlling okay uh, oh my god, whoa, all my, oh shit, all my shit's unchecked, oh no, ah oh, fuck it, I don't give a shit, this is boring, and I've been on this fucking video for an hour. I hope I've adequately demonstrated that this shit's fucked up and retarded. Um, if you have opinions, um, please keep them to yourself. I'm in no way interested whatsoever because I'm learning more and more that people on YouTube are primarily Americans and I am primarily not interested in what Americans have to say. So... Go fuck yourselves. <laughs>